satisfied till I clean my plate up in the middle of the night. That's right, real late. Midnight snacks, on some chocolate. I got some chocolate bars and my stars couldn't fit in any cars. I'm feeling like I got a strike, so I'm waiting for some pound chicka pound pounds. Pound chicka pound pounds. Yo, I'm gonna make it fresh to the death. Veggies on my right, fruit on my left. Chicken or fish, a good dish. Eat some turkey, break a wish bone. I'm not alone, but it's my own choice. And I tell you with my own I'm voice. Break it, break it down now, make it happen somehow. Some people think I'm funny, but I'm about to get it done. Rich, rich, bling, bling, right of flavin' in me. Feeling good, and now you see it's time to get healthy. Trauma, smell some wood. Trauma, smell some wood. Tough a shot, Good morning, my little vlog watchers. So. Today, I don't really have the most amazing topics to talk about, so I don't know, but I can say that we've been kind of trying to work healthier ingredients into our foods. So, um, like this morning, we didn't film this because we weren't sure about it yet. You know, we tried to do a smoothie without milk and replaced the milk with like almond milk. So, I don't know, it was kind of like a, a test thing we needed to figure out you know, how much do we need to add milk, and you know, it was kind of messy, and it turned out tasting really good. So, once we perfect it a little bit more, we can definitely make a video and share it. And so, we're trying to stay away from the scale. This is another topic. The scale. The dreaded scale. If you, like, live on the scale, you are going to have a hard time losing weight because you're just going to think about your weight. That's all you're going to think about while you're trying to diet and, you know, be healthy. You know, instead of thinking about normal stuff throughout the day and just thinking about healthy foods and thinking about being healthy, you're just thinking about how many pounds you weigh. So you want to try and stay away from that, okay? Okay. Um, if you check yourself once every couple of days, that's fine. You know, maybe even once a day, that's fine. Some people are like on the scale constantly. Every time they eat something, they get on the scale. How much, how much should I gain from eating that? Oh my goodness. So no, don't do that. Okay. Please don't do that. <laughs> you're going to just disappoint yourself and you're going to throw yourself off and that's all you'll focus on and you won't be able to lose weight. It's, it'll be horrible. You'll become like, anorexic or something. So eat the food you plan on eating. Give it a week, you know, to, before you make that judgment on the amount that you lost. You know, start exercising and eat the foods you plan on eating and check your weight. If you haven't lost weight, maybe you need to switch a few things around. And I think that's good every now and then to take a little easy break from what you're doing. Uh, you know, it, it just kind of relieves you a little bit. Eat really good, work really hard, and try really hard, and put a lot of ton of effort into it. But every now and then, give yourself a little bit of a break so that you're not just constantly... It's like going to work. You know the saying, work, work hard, and then all work, no play, or I, I forget how it goes, but... Um, there's a saying like that and you really don't want to just do all work and no play because it's it stresses you out so get plugged into the system that you're doing and take a little break every now and then enjoy yourself I mean right now you're doing a, a month a month shouldn't be too bad if you want to go for the whole month work hard eat right you know, but treat yourself a little bit every now and then. Now, if you're, to if you're totally making a change, like you're deciding to go vegan or vegetarian and drop the meat forever, then go for that. You know, but I would say, you know, you still got to treat yourself to some things, you know, even if it's not going to be meat. Okay? So, that's my advice. I don't know. You don't have to take that. But I think you can't just do all work, no play, because it'll stress you out. I've shared... A lot of my difficult things in this in this diet, my struggles, the things I'm having a hard time with, and I've shared some of my um, excitedness about overcoming some of those temptations that you know were really strong for me, like like passing up on cake and stuff. That's so hard to do, but I did it, and I felt so good about it. So now I'd like to know a little bit about you guys. You guys are watching my videos. I know I get like 
you know, 30 views at least on a video. So there's at least a minimum of 30 people watching this. So what do you guys think? What do you guys, you know, are you guys doing the diet? If you are, you know, if you're doing Shea Loss, if you're doing the Shea Timber, um, you know, or even if you're not, if you're just doing your own diet, um, what do you find is, is hard to do? What do you find is easy for you? What, what kind of advice might you have for me or someone like me who has the same struggles I have? Uh, go ahead and leave some comments down below. Um, I, I don't know how I could uh, approve video responses since that's apparently not an option anymore on YouTube currently, but hopefully they'll bring that back. But um, yeah, feel free to just comment. Just write something out. I'd love it. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye. Oh, bye bye now. Bye bye. Now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, what are you guys doing for dinner? Sorry, that was horrible. Horrible. I want to put it in anyway, though. What do you think about that? I'm keeping it. All right. For dinner, I'm I'm happy because I'm gonna make some salmon. I love salmon. Salmon's good. I'm gonna cook up some nice salmon. I'm gonna go to the store right now and pick some up. What you think about that? That's a really good dinner. We're gonna probably, uh, I don't know if I'll grill it or if I'll fry it up a little bit or if I'll bake it. Maybe I'll bake it, that's healthy or not. Baking or grilling is probably the way to go. But I might just wrap it up in some foil and grill it. That sounds good too, some teriyaki sauce. Ooh, is teriyaki sauce good for you? Probably not, huh? I'll figure something out. I'm gonna look up a recipe when I get home. So I'm excited about that. What are you guys doing for dinner? Hook it up, comment below, Bye bye Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at this chunk of slab of delicious right here. Salmon. And it's stuffed with crab and lobster meat. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be so good. I cannot wait to eat this. I don't have to do any special recipe, I can just put it in. Woo! And I got a good deal, it was like under 10 bucks for two of them. So, sweet. Peace out. <laughs>